Hi, uh, my name is Pierre Michaud. I work as uh, customer support for Atom Digital. Um, in the upcoming videos, we're going to have a, a brief look at the uh, Kantar X3 uh, menus. Uh, we also will uh, do uh, in-depth videos uh, getting into, uh, into those menus. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, on this uh, brief video, we're going to have a look at all different menus of the Kantar X3. Uh, going through all of them uh, with this uh, large rotary knob. We're going to start by the first screen on the knob. Here we have the copy backup menu. This is where you're going to copy one file to, uh, from one media to another media. If I switch to the second menu, session menu, this is where I will create new project select what for file format I'm going to put on which media, as well as create audio reports. The technical setting allow me to uh, set up different settings such as screen brightness, etc. The audio and time code parameters is where I would set up sampling rate, time code, info, time code generator, um, this is the in-grid routing menu where I would uh, select which input goes on which track. This is my uh, outmaps menu for headphone as well as line out and digital output. The audio file browser uh, gives me access to uh, all of the uh, sound file on, on, on all media. Um, and I, do, I can do editing of, of metadata as well on each, uh, on each files. This is the playback menu with a large waveform at the bottom of the screen. This is a stop menu with information such as operating system, counter serial number. This is my test. Uh, menu where I would, uh, in that test, in that me uh, menu, I would set up my inputs, setting up EQs, limiters. This is the prereq uh, menu where I would enter metadata. And this is a record menu. In the next video, uh, we're going to go into details and the and, uh, first video. Uh, will be to show uh, how to set up a project.